Hey guys, a quick update on what I have going on here. So, the Sears table saw that I picked up the other day is in pieces, and I have the main large piece over here in the uh, electro bath, and just one of my old chargers connected to that. Uh, the vintage ice cream machine is in pieces and I'm cleaning them up. It's almost ready to be put back together. That, that does work. I tested the motor. <clears throat> One of my old belt sanders, uh, a Black & Decker, is a 3x24. And I picked up this 2-pack from uh, the dollar store. It's a dollar store here in Syracuse called Real Deals. And this is 40 grit, so it's super coarse. But either way, it's not bad for a buck. Over here, I have a bunch of toolboxes that are going to be cleaned up and repainted. I started the Craftsman, a tombstone one that I picked up from the market the other day. Uh, you can see I got a couple more. This is that park piece. But uh, there's also some in the background there. So I got a bunch of old uh, little handy portable toolboxes that I'm going to clean up and paint. Uh, scissors, I started cleaning up some of the scissors I have. I have about 15, 20 pairs. So they're all hanging out. Got a couple of my older vices just sitting here. Not mounted. So... Uh, that's about it, I think. Uh, uh, started tinkering a little bit with the drill press. And then I have my rigid pipe vise that is uh, also being worked on. So, got a lot of open projects and it, it's kind of overwhelming, but uh, I'm trying to focus and get a couple done before I start another one, so... Then over here, yet another project. This little disc sander is in pieces. I'm not quite sure. If anyone knows, definitely let me know. But I know that the round part is for a disc sander. That I understand. But there's two wooden drums that get mounted to it. Uh, one right here and one at the other end. And my first thought was maybe it's for a belt. But that really wouldn't make too much sense, so I'm kind of wondering if anyone knows what uh, what that part of this piece is used for. Now, the, the wooden drums have these little brass inserts in them, if that, you know. And one of them is spun by the pulley that the motor spins, so in essence... When the disc sander is in operation, one of the drums would spin. Now, if a belt were connected to it, uh, obviously both drums would spin when the motor goes. So, but I don't know. And then last, uh, let's walk over here. The takeabout sander that I picked up for ten bucks. Uh, I snipped the cord off. I added a switch toggle switch and I discovered that it is missing its brushes so replacement brushes are about $15 a piece and I'm not going to spend 30 bucks on brushes for it uh, I'm trying to do it kind of low budget and if I have to just replace the cord and clean it up and have it as a display piece I will but I'm wondering if I could um, just get some cheaper brushes and find a, a pair that fit or that are close um, but I'm not sure on that I ho hopefully I can but there's the take take about sander uh, my doer motor um, the Westinghouse motor that came with the table saw which is a nice smooth running motor. 
That's the GE motor for the drill press. Two older uh, circular saws back there. And down here we have the Black & Decker sander, uh, a spare motor, that's a, a Delco. Another spare motor, uh, Packard. And then this GE motor that goes with uh, this bench grinder, uh, this belt driven bench grinder setup that I have. Also an open project, but it's in pieces. This is the, uh, the shaft for it, so. <sighs> but, quick little update of what I have going on. Bunch of open projects. And I appreciate it as always. And take care, guys. Have a great day.